Good morning students. In today's class, we are going to see about rectangular coordinate system. We can also represent it in another word such as Cartesian coordinate system. Both are same. The variables of this rectangular coordinate system are x, y and z. We can represent any point at this coordinate system in terms of x, y and z. See here, the vector representation is given here. A vector is equal to ax ax vector plus a y a y vector plus a z a z vector. Here, a x vector, a y vector, and a z vector are unit vectors. Okay, and the range of variables or x varies from minus infinity to infinity similar to that y and z also varies from minus infinity to plus infinity here i'm taking only positive coordinates for x-axis there will also be negative x-axis see here i'm showing that in this picture see here this is positive x-axis and opposite to this is negative x-axis and similar to this this is y-axis and this side with the dotted lines i'm representing the negative y-axis and this is z-axis in opposite to this is minus z-axis so the range of these x y z variables are varies from minus infinity to plus infinity and here i am representing the geometrical representation of this rectangular coordinate system just shown here okay so these three axes are mutually perpendicular to each other we can also say that these three axes are orthogonal to each other and all the three axes are joining at a point or intersecting at a point is known as origin see here x y and z or intersecting at your point is known as origin this is junction we can also say it as junction of x y and z these three axes are joining at this point is known as origin and in this cartesian coordinate system the important topic the important subtopic we are going to see is differential elements there are three differential elements not only in cartesian coordinate system but also in cylindrical coordinate system and spherical coordinate system there are differential elements okay so differential elements under these under this differential elements we are going to see differential length differential surface and differential volume okay so differential length we represent it with dl vector and differential surface we represent it with ds vector similar to that differential volume is represented as dv you want to note one point that among these three differential elements that is differential length differential surface and the last one is differential volume among these three differential elements differential length and differential surface are vector quantities see here dl vector similar to the ds vector but differential volume is scalar quantity see here i didn't put any vector symbol here dv is what scalar quantity so come let us move to the differential length differential length dl vector we can represent it as dx ax vector plus dy ay vector plus d is it a is it vector my dear students you want to note one point in your mind that whatever might be a vector if you are representing any vector in left hand side there must be unit vector come in right hand side see here dl vector is a vector so it comes along with unit vectors a x vector a y vector and a z vector okay similar to that in cylindrical coordinate system also if you are representing dl vector we have unit vectors but not as ax vector ay vector and a z vector in cylindrical coordinate system we are having different unit vectors i will show uh, those vectors in the next class okay so see here here dx is nothing but differential length in x direction similar to that dy is differential length in y direction and d is it is differential length in z direction for example dx is nothing but small length see here this is this is x axis from here to here this is a small length okay we can't able to take long length from uh, zero to infinity i couldn't able to take and calculate the calculations uh, must become little bit uh, 
typical to for us to solve the problem so here we are going to consider small length so dx is nothing but differential length in x direction differential length is nothing but small length okay similar to that dy is nothing but differential length in y direction here i am taking a small length that is nothing but dy small length in y direction and dz also small length in z direction so we are adding all these uh, coordinates we are getting dl vector how we can be able to calculate the scalar dl magnitude of the dl vector is equal to nothing but square root of coordinate of ax vector see here coordinate of ax vector is dx so dx squared and coordinate of ay vector is nothing but dy so dy squared and dz squared this is the formula for calculating magnitude of length vector dl vector magnitude of dl vector is nothing but square root of dx squared plus dy squared plus dz squared next we are going to differential surface differential surface we represent it with ds vector so see here in ds vector we are having three different vectors ds x vector ds y vector ds z vector here ds x vector how you can write in subscript we are having x so you want to take unit vector as x so how we take ds x vector see here D ax vector is unit vector so among x y and z among x y and z x y and z i am taking x vector as unit vector so cancel this so what are the remaining two y and z so you want to represent it with dy dz see here dy so okay in uh, differential surface we are having three different surface vector ds x vector is nothing but differential vector surface area normal to normal to x direction that is here the unit vector is ax vector and ds y vector is nothing but how we are going to represent here what is in the subscript y so the unit vector is nothing but a y vector okay so again i'm writing let me erase and write So among x among x y and z here ds y vector i'm going to take y as unit vector so you just cancel so you just cancel this y vector what are the remaining x and z x and z so i'm going to take these two as variables variables mean what nothing i want to i want to draw dx i want to write dx and dz dx and dz are variables so what about the constant constant is nothing but unit vector that is a y vector see dx dz a y vector and similar to that ds z vector is nothing but differential vector surface area perpendicular to z direction perpendicular to z direction so what i want to use unit vector here what is the subscript z so a z vector comes as unit vector so you just cancel you just cancel So here I'm cancelling z vector. Here I'm going to cancel because z vector is unit vector, so I'm going to cancel z vector. So what are the two variables again? X and Y. So we are going to represent it it dx and dy. See here I'm representing it dx and dy. A z vector is unit vector. That's all. So I'm going to show you how you want to draw this vector see here i'm taking ds x vector what is the unit vector a x vector a x vector is constant okay you just forget that what are the variables y and z are variables so among the x axis y axis and z axis i'm going to consider y and z as variables because dy and dz this is what this is x axis this is x axis and this one is y axis and the upper one is z axis okay 
So here I am going to draw. What are the two variables? Y and Z. See here, dy, dz. Among y, I am going to draw a line. This is nothing but dy. And among z axis, I am going to draw one line. This is z axis. Parallel to z axis, again draw another line. And parallel to y axis, another draw one line. Here, what is the constant? Constant is what? Ax vector. So the unit vector you want to draw like this in x direction so ax vector see here i am drawing the uh, i have drawn uh, this picture already here okay so this is differential vector surface area normal to x direction let me erase this okay so similar to that I can also be able to draw I can also able to draw what dsy vector see here in this image see here in this image uh, dsy vector so dsy vector x axis y axis z axis the variables are dx and dz see here among the x direction I am drawing a line see here this is similar to x axis dx and another variables dz so again i'm drawing a line which is parallel to z axis so this is z axis and again parallel to z axis i'm drawing another one line parallel to y axis again i'm drawing sorry parallel to x axis i'm drawing another one line so i'm closing this i'm having this surface and the vector unit vector which is perpendicular to this surface is nothing but y so along y axis i am drawing a unit vector a y vector that's all similar to that you can also draw this a dx x sorry d d s z vector so here in the subscript i am having a z vector so that only i am taking unit vector as a z vector and other than z what are the two variables among x y and z i am going to cancel z so remaining our watch x and y so i am considering that x and y as variables differential length that is dx and dy okay multiplication of two sides is nothing but surface yes now so dx dy see here x y and z i am considering dx so among x direction along x direction i am drawing a line along y direction so along this this direction i am drawing another one line and parallel to this i am drawing another line and parallel to x axis i am drawing another line so for this particular surface what is the unit vector the unit vector is a z vector so z vector means in along z direction i am going to draw a vector which is perpendicular to this surface a z vector so that's all so ds vector and ds ds vector is nothing but combination of ds vector we can write ds x vector we can also write like this ds ds vector is equal to ds x x vector plus ds y a y vector plus ds is a z vector that's all next coming to the last differential element which is differential volume i have already told you differential volume is scalar quantity so i am representing it with a scalar dv there is no vector symbol in the abstract of this dv so dv dv is equal to multiplication of uh, in volume we represent it with meter cube so multiplication of two three sides uh, that is dx dy and dz dv is a scalar quantity dl vector and ds vector or vector quantities so see here in left hand side also no vector and right hand side also no unit vectors that's all thank you